Hey everyone, it's Rachel and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to make a fake cake. I actually have not made this before, but I do need a fake cake for this weekend because I will be attending a wedding expo and I need this to display this cute little cake topper that I created. I just wanted something to put the cake topper in. I didn't really want to get a real cake, so I thought why not make a fake cake. All of the items that I needed, I got from the Dollar Tree, so I will be sharing with you all of those items right now. So I have every Everything I need right here in this bag and let me go over one by one each item that I got. First what you need to make the fake cake is some styrofoam rounds and I found these packs of two. They were a dollar each and I wanted to do four layers of it. So I got two packs of two. I found these in the floral section next to those green styrofoam rounds or squares that you could use to um, make those flower arrangements and stuff. The next thing I needed was this sponge brush. I already had one. I don't know why I threw it in there, but I did see that they sold a pack of four. The next thing I got is this cake server set. I just wanted this to be used as a little spatula or maybe like just something to mix the whole mixture together. Then I also got a mixing bowl. I just wanted to get one that I could dispose afterwards because this might get a little messy but we'll see. I found this mixing bowl next to all the baking stuff and the dishware. And the last thing which is the most important thing is lightweight spackling. I really thought this was gonna be a bigger jar at first but I almost didn't see it because it was so tiny and in a corner sitting on a shelf but yes this is the main thing that you'll need. In addition to that the items that I already had that I will be using is brown paint and pink paint as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first I have this sheet of parchment paper that I'm just gonna set down. And then taking these styrofoam rounds, I am going to lay them on top of each other. So taking some double-sided sticky tape, I will be using this to place in between each styrofoam, just so it kind of sticks together and doesn't move around. Okay, this is what it looks like when I taped it all together. I will be using this brown paint right here and I'm gonna squirt a little bit onto this paper plate. Oh, it's a little liquidy. Very shaky. Still liquidy. So I have some of this runny brown paint on here, but that's not a problem. And using this sponge brush, I am just going to dip it into the paint. And then instead of just like swiping it all over, I'm just gonna dab it into the styrofoam. So continue dabbing it all around. That's interesting. It smells just like chocolate milk or hot cocoa. And then I'm gonna pick it up and turn it on its side and just continue to sponge paint it all around. Actually for size, I'm going to swipe it instead of dabbing it because the sides are a lot smoother than the top areas. So this distributes the paint evenly. So there you go. I roughly painted the entire cake. I left the bottom undone because it won't show anyways, but this is how it will look like. And I'm going to let this set and let this dry for about five minutes. I really didn't put much paint onto this, so it should dry fairly quickly. Okay, while that's drying, I will be working on the spackling, which will be the icing on the cake literally. So I have the spackling right here. I have never used this before so let's see how it turns out. Ooh, just a little ball of spackling in there. Hmm, how should I go about doing this? So I decided not to use this cake cutting serving set. Instead I am going to use just a plastic fork and knife. I couldn't find a plastic spoon but a fork will work. So I'm not going to use the entire thing but I will take a spoonful and I'm going to put it into the mixing bowl. Maybe a little bit more. So I put a little bit into this mixing bowl and what I want to do is make an ombre cake. I'll insert a picture of what I'm trying to go for. Three layers of shades of pink. So using my pink paints, this will act like food coloring. I'm going to drop in just one. Let's see if I can. Oop. Two. Actually, I'm gonna drop in three drops. This will be the darkest color of pink. So I have that in there and I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna add a few more drops because 
I didn't get the color that I desired just yet. This is what it turns out to be. It turns out to be this color and I actually use 10 drops of the pink paint. Since I will be doing three layers of color to make that ombre effect, so pink, light pink, and maybe white, I am going to scoop this onto a paper plate first before icing the entire cake. This is really soft and surprisingly very easy to use. Okay, so I have that there. And then scooping out another little bit of spackling into the bowl, I am going to repeat the same process, but using less drops of pink paint. Again, I'm gonna add maybe five drops into this. That's what it's gonna look like, and I'm just gonna mix again. This is the outcome, which is a much lighter shade of pink compared to the first batch that we did. So I'm going to scoop this onto the paper plate as well. In total, I have three batches of spackling. I have the darker shade of pink, the lighter shade of pink, and for the third color, I am just gonna use the rest of this, which is a white colored spackling. I'm excited to see how this looks like, so let's go ahead and start icing the cake. So I decided to make a bigger batch of the lighter pink because this will be the middle area of the cake. I'm actually going to start off with this color first. Taking my plastic knife, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a little bit or a lot of it, turn it on its side, and just start icing like the two middle layers of the cake. I'm gonna roughly do this and not smooth it out because I think it looks better when it's undone and it legit looks like icing. This is so nice and soft. But this is what it looks like. I just put it down the middle areas. It's okay if it doesn't completely cover it and make it completely opaque. If a little bit of the brown shows through, that's fine. So after putting this first layer, I'm gonna go in with the darker color and place it along the bottom part. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. You can't really see the distinction of it in this lighting, but I promise you I could tell the difference between the darker pink to the lighter pink. So for the last layer, we are just going to use the plain old spackling as is, since it is a white color. I am going to wipe off my spatula or my <laughs> plastic knife, and then I'm gonna scoop into the spackling. You could either set it down or hold it up. I think I have more control when I'm holding it. So taking this, we're gonna paint it along the top layer. This is what the top layer looks like with the white spackling mixed in. I like how some of the pink kind of mixed into it and created the perfect ombre effect. So for the top, I'm just gonna finish it off. All right guys, this is just about done. I'm just gonna add some finishing touches, fix it up a little bit, and I'll check in with you guys when it's finally done. Alright you guys, we are in the kitchen now and I'm just going to show you how I put everything together. It should be pretty simple. So I'm going to make this later. <laughs> I love lemon bars. So I have this cake stand which will fit the cake perfectly. I love it so much. And actually the spackling had hardened, which is perfect. I'm going to use um, some tape. I'm going to roll up the tape and then use it to stick it onto the cake stand just so it doesn't move around. looks so good. There you have it. It looks great from all angles, but I think this might be the best or the most photogenic side. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick it right in. Eee. Do you hear that? It's pushing through the styrofoam. Not too far. You don't want it too deep into the cake. And that's it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Da -da -da -da. There you go, your DIY fake ombre cake. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey everyone, I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys that I just opened up an Etsy shop so that cake topper that I featured in the video is actually handmade by yours truly and I thought it was finally about time to put that up on Etsy. This is the only item that I have in my Etsy shop right now but I'll be sure to add more items very soon. The link to my Etsy shop will be down below in the description box for you to check out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Rachel and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!